Hi, in today's video, we're going to go over some cold weather tips for your home, and we're going to start right now. Hi, my name is David Matney with Nebraska Realty. I'm a local realtor here in Omaha, Nebraska. Now let's jump into today's topic. A while back, I did a video about seven things you need to know about Omaha, and I'll include a link above uh, to that video. But one of the comments I received was about one of the cons of living in Omaha, Nebraska, and that's about the weather. All right, this person left a comment. Well, I'm in Florence right now, and another great reason to move to Omaha is that you can cryogenically freeze yourself by walking to your mailbox right now. But hey, it's not for everyone. All right, first of all, one of our slogans in Nebraska is, Nebraska, it's not for everyone. And it kind of makes you wonder about our uh, tourism commission that approved that slogan because also you got to start to wonder about our state government because guess what? They also approved uh, this license plate. Somebody in our state government actually approved that license plate. Now, Comedy Central had a field day with this license plate a few years back and they changed it since then, but it makes you kind of wonder that somebody gave the, the green light to that thing, but go figure. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point of this video. This video is going to be about the cold weather and some tips to keep the pipes from freezing in your home. All right, let's first talk about a vacant home. If you have a vacant home, please have the house properly winterized. Okay, furnaces do go bad, and then you can even have a thermostat go bad with a bad battery. So it's worthwhile to have the house properly winterized. Otherwise, you can have a nightmare on your hands. Okay, the other thing, if the home, regardless, it's always a good idea. Now, this might be a little too little too late in February, but every fall you should have your home, uh, have the furnace professionally cleaned and serviced. Okay, now, if you're going to put your home on the market, go ahead and have it cleaned and serviced because that's something that frequently comes up on the home inspection, and it's also a thing that... Uh, you know, the kids will love the house and then good old dad, the deal killer comes along and the first thing he looks at is down there in the basement, looks at that sticker on the furnace. So go ahead and have your furnace cleaned and serviced up front before you put your home on the market. All right, this video, uh, I originally wasn't gonna do this video uh, this week, but yesterday I came home from work and I noticed the home, our home, my wife normally keeps it very cool in our house, okay? And I noticed yesterday that for some reason, it was a balmy 85 degrees. And normally the only way it's 85 degrees is if I crank the furnace when she's not home and then I forget to crank it back down or <laughs> the pipes were frozen. And sure enough, downstairs, our pipes were frozen. All right. If your home is occupied, here are a few techniques that you can use uh, to keep the pipes from freezing. All right, the first thing you can do is you can simply leave the cabinet doors open so warm air can circulate. And you want to especially pay attention to any pipes that are towards the north side of the house. Those have a tendency to freeze. All right, the second thing you can do is you can leave the water, both hot and cold, uh, slightly dripping and keep water flowing through those pipes. All right, again, if your house is occupied, you want to keep the furnace cleaned and serviced. So if you haven't had it serviced lately, it's a good time to do it now. All right, here's another technique. Change the furnace filter. Okay, the other idea is to make sure your furniture or dirty clothes that are, are not in the hamper that are not blocking the heat vents. All right, I bought a house from an old guy, and uh, what he had done was he wrapped the, the water pipes in the basement and in the crawl space with insulation sleeves to slow the heat transfer. All right, now if you have a fireplace, make sure that the flue is closed when you're not using it. And then finally, this is important, okay, make sure your furnace vent is not blocked. If you get excessive snow on the outside, this could actually shut down your furnace or it could lead to carbon monoxide poisoning if that vent gets 
clogged. So A, make sure you have carbon working carbon monoxide uh, detectors, which by the way is a requirement when you're selling your home. And then B, make sure that there's no, there's no excessive snow or ice that is shutting down that vent. Okay, there you have it. Those are some tips for uh, keeping your home safe during these frigid temperatures. Be sure to stay warm and you make it a great day. And oh yeah, don't forget, hey, subscribe to my channel. And on a cold wintry day, it's a good idea to, if you want to binge watch my channel, <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Thanks and make it a great day. And oh yeah, don't forget, give this video a thumbs up.